What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Chef the Mind Surgeon. <laughs> and you already know what time it is. Tips to talk. Every year is the same thing, man, and I don't mean that to say monotonous, but it's a great experience, awesome, awesome time to hang, hang out with people. Um, really wanted to do this tips to talk with you for a very long time, so I appreciate that we're here no doing this right now, man. You know? Yeah. So. Um, for me, I will admit, I can't. I kind of had a little anxiety coming to this one. Because it's, it's, it's crazy, like, you know, we'll show y'all how many people are here right now. But it's crazy how in the span of like four years, how much the lawn care community presence, well, I would say social media lawn care community presence has grown. And so, you know, I guess my anxiety came from not wanting to disappoint. You know what I mean? I want to... There's more pressure to everything Yeah, nowadays, you know, you know. You know. So a lot of people, and basically what Seth is trying to allude to is the fact that like we came in here tonight and last year they only had one certain room open for all of us down here. And it gotten so big over the years that it broke the fire capacity. Yeah, it was like a 300 person <laughs> capacity and or the fire marshal will come shut us down. So in order to not break that, they had to break it into two rooms now. Yeah, and so, it, even that, there's, I can see the potential of this getting next year even bigger yeah, than... We might have to, we have to rent an arena or a stadium <laughs> or something like that, you know. <laughs> what, are, what arena? What arena is out here in Louisville? I guess the college, the Louisville, Louisville. Yeah, that's it's the, like a cardinal, I don't even know what school it is. I guess it's Louisville. Yeah. We gonna, that, that's where, um, what's his name? I don't know, I'm trying to think of a football player that went there. You're gonna have to pour me a little bit of bourbon. I think I'm out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys saw in the earlier post, I'm sure you guys know if you're watching this video here today. Seth's wife, thank you, Miss Flanner. Miss Surgeon. Miss Surgeon, Miss <laughs> Surgeon. Thank you, Miss Surgeon, for Mrs. Mrs. Surgeon for coming up with the uh, the idea to this. This is a tremendous idea. Everybody yeah. got out there, started doing the handshake, the secret handshake yeah. and uh, Got hooked up with a cup. Yeah, it's, it's so crazy. I, like the year, last two years, I've probably been trying to think of something to do. I kind of maybe sunglasses or uh, bags or something that I could give to people, you know, as an appreciation for you know supporting me and watching my channel. And I've been racking my brain, of course, giving my wife ideas, and she was just like nonchalantly, "Why don't you just make cups?" You know? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, oh. like you know, why didn't I think of that before? You know, it's it's, it's kind of perfect you know yeah so this is almost like as you guys know uh, I've been following Seth for like a super long time one of the first uh, youtubers that I that I noticed on uh, YouTube right following him his videos and all that stuff so I'm like man him and I got to do a tipsy talk together and I'm like the whole time I'm focused I'm like yeah I just want to hook up with him and do a tipsy talk to stuff well like the second before we hit record, we're like, shit, what are we gonna talk about? <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, I said, that, that's how I am. I, of course, you know who that is, John, John Pajak. The loudest, loudest lawn care YouTuber. Yes, I remember that. I remember him from last year. We're gonna pan out. He, he has to make a green entrance everywhere he goes. He's the guy oh, they're about to do the, ra the raffle. Doing the raffle, okay, yeah. that's what it was, all right. You got your ticket? Yeah. Imagine that we went on camera right here. I don't even know where I put mine. To be yeah, honest. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably gonna be the winner too. Well, anyways. But yeah, that, 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 that's what I was telling them. I'm kind of like, I think of a, a kind of soft idea to talk about, and then I kind of go from there. Yeah. Yeah. So, one thing I want to talk about is the uh, is after everything is said and done with the GIE Expo, like it goes by so quick. 
Like these, these is a lot of walking. Uh, that's besides the point. But it goes by so quick that like life, you know, everybody's going back to their routine. Everybody's going back to their normal life. Everybody's going back to work. You know, but uh, but the experience still lasts, and it, it, it's always the same for me. Whereas I look forward to the next year as soon as I get home. Yeah. You know. And it's pretty much like it wraps up the whole year, I, I think, for us. You yeah, know? you, you, you kind of work all, all summer long, and it's kind of like your, your payoff. This is what you're working for, to, to come out here, meet with a whole bunch of like-minded people. You know, and one thing that it, 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 one thing, it actually helped me coming to these events and talking to other guys who's further along in their long hair career helped me to... Uh, get the confidence to go full time, you know, seeing that they were in my situation five years ago and they, they took that leap, you know, it kind of helped me say, you know, well, if they did it, I could do it, you know, it's, I got all the same things they have, I have the same amount of experience, yeah. if they can make the leap, I can make the leap. Now, now, were you doing lawn care before you worked in law enforcement? No, I, no. I started law enforcement in 2007 and I started doing lawn care in 2012. Yeah. So, yeah, and I remember we all know the story as to how he got into yeah. doing that. You know, you were doing it, you were mowing for your uh, your uncle or something My uncle, like that. Yeah. He gave you a mower. Yeah, he gave me a mower, and I just made some flyers and started handing them out. My first yard, I charged a lady twenty five dollars without looking at her backyard. <laughs> Worst mistake you could ever make in lawn care. Look at the walk the whole property. Not only was the grass tall in the back, <laughs> the hill was, it was a hill like this. So I'm, all I had was a push more, I'm pushing it up, but $25, you know, I gave the quote, had to stick to was it. Was that the first and last time you mowed her lawn? No, she, she, I kept her for four years. Really? Yeah. For $25? No, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Price went up. <laughs> Price definitely went up. Yeah. Because that's tough, man, because, you know, you say $25, and sometimes some people might feel bad that they don't, like, realize how much work it is, yeah. but still, like, be afraid to ask her, hey, you know, for to increase the price or whatever, you yeah. know what I mean? But you got to do what you got to do in this in this business, you Yeah, know? I mean, I, I, the way I kind of look at it, I, I had to actually, for the first time, last year, I started raising my prices. I've had customers I had for years and years, and, uh had to go to them and I, I had to raise your price five dollars and if they said they would go for somebody else they had to go and most of my good customers stayed because they understand you know you have to raise your prices to somebody. yeah and I can see it from the customer perspective where they've already built a trust relationship with you over the years that paying five dollars or ten dollars more to their service is less of a hassle than trying to find somebody else that's more reliable, that's reliable, as reliable as you are, yeah. you know, even for for whatever, it's a cheaper price. So that money is worth its weight in the trust that you have, you know, for the person that you're contracting to do your yard, I think, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. So it, it's, 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 uh, you know, there's, <laughs> I don't even know what to talk about, man, yeah. but it's all good. Maybe we get, get a shot at, they're doing the uh, rally, uh, I got my raffle ticket right here. I yeah, just I don't, even, too. I don't <laughs> even know if we we don't even know if we won, but yeah. So but yeah, we're going we we'll go check that out. See what's going on over there. It was good having this tipsy talk with you, my man. A quick tipsy talk, but nonetheless, it's something that was on my bucket list. I wanted to do with you, my man. So yeah. you know share the experience man we could say this is one for the books i think so yes sir yep. you guys do do this next year make it a tradition yeah i like that <laughs> i like that like yeah. so all right anywho anywho thanks for watching comment subscribe jc the lawn care guy seth the lawn surgeon yes sir <laughs>